Hello everyone. Um, just thought I might start recording these since it's been a bit of work and if I record it then I'll remember it. Um, yeah, basically I want to make a Raspberry Pi portable and to do that I need to build a circuit and bits and pieces. So I'm just going to show you how it's all going together so far. Right, so over here we have a Raspberry Pi, SD card, um, USB power, a SD out, audio out, Wi-Fi dongle there by Eddie Max. Get them because they're brilliant. And keyboard. Yeah. Close cable down, and we get to the circuit. Right, what we've got coming in here is 12 volts, 5 amps going into a um, voltage thing. <laughs> it's a 7805A, um, which takes the 12 volts and outputs 5 volts, which is what the Raspberry Pi needs to run on. Okay, now you won't be able to see the circuit in there, but essentially I've got one voltage thing there which gives me one 5 volt rail which the Raspberry Pi has all to itself. And then there is a, if I can get my finger in shot without destroying everything, there is a second one. See it? there? So there's the first one, there's the second one. That gives me a second rail which at the moment has got a resistor and this LED on just to prove that the circuit's working. Eventually, of course, this thing is going to be connected to it. Now, I did have it connected before, but it never seemed to work, and I couldn't work out why. Um, so, yeah, that's going to plug on to that circuit where the LED is. And that's purely to shift the Wi-Fi onto this, onto its own, like a separate circuit, really. And then I can plug the mouse into there. Because I like the idea of having the peripherals um, plugged in. Now that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> the hub's going to plug in there, and I want the, um, <laughs> the mouse and thing to go on here. Something like that. I'll work it out later, but that's roughly how it's going to work. Uh, I might even throw a Bluetooth dongle on there if there's enough juice. Yeah, so, there we go. Uh, what that gives us with the Wi-Fi and these three circuits, the 12 volt rail and the two 5 volt rails, <coughs> um, is the ability to run this screen which is a 12 volt screen, and you've seen it before, because I've done a different video, and also if you have a look at my Arnold video, <laughs> it's on there as well. Um, one quick note, these little 5 volt jobbies generate a lot of heat under load, so the more load you put on them, the more uh, voltage it needs to get rid of, and if you get rid of energy, you generate heat. So I've got a fan here, which is a 12 volt, 0.07 uh, amp fan, it's a normal P um, PC fan thing, and that's just blowing on these just to keep it cool. It kind of gives you an idea of the amount of load I'm putting on. I've got 500 milliamps there at least. Um, I've got 0.07 amps there, um, which is fine. And then I'm going to have another, what, 2 maybe? 1 amp maybe on this? What do we reckon? We'll never know because the camera won't focus. I reckon it's got another 1 amp on here. I reckon. It's hard to tell. Anyway, so, screen's on 12. One 5 volt rail for the Raspberry Pi, one 5 volt rail for that one. Right. Wi Fi's working, and what I can do, I've just connected up to my NAS via Wi Fi. I'm going to use Top Gear again because I kind of. I can't focus on that. Auto focus, please. No! Okay, fine, fair enough. Um, so, what I can do is use an OMX player which is built on. It's already installed. This is actually working. So it seems my circuit's solid. Because one of the TV's on and the Raspberry Pi is on, the Wi Fi's on, so I know that what's drawing here isn't more than the Raspberry Pi can handle. I've got heat control, so turn that off. I've got uh, thermal control here, and that's gonna go on later on. So I'm quite happy about that. That's stage one. Stage two of course is to Put that on, get a mouse plugged in, um, get a mini keyboard, maybe a Bluetooth one, not sure, depends on the draw. Um, get this in a case so it looks pretty, um, tidy it all up. See if I can get rid of this power brick actually for this 12 volt thing, because it's a massive brick. Um, might see if I can get rid of it. But yeah, this is stage one, it's all working, I'm fairly happy. So yeah, um, I might do another one if I get anything else working. Cheers, bye.